Hello and welcome to Krishi Jagran Business, platform that keeps you updated with all the agri news of the nation. This is Kushi Mudgal. Let's take a quick look at the top headlines of the day. Punjab Agricultural University organizes workshop on agri startups. Milk procurement sees 5.6% rise in June, says Rupala. PM Modi released 14th installment of about rupees 17,000 crores. IVRI unveils groundbreaking cattle feed for unprecedented milk yield boost. China launches Silk Roadster projects in Nepal to boost agri sector. Now the news in detail. Punjab Agricultural University Vice Chancellor Sadbir Singh Gosal inaugurated a one-day workshop titled Agri Startups Interaction at the Farmer Service Center. Skilled and successful entrepreneurs trained by the Punjab Agribusiness Incubator shared their inspiring journeys of challenges and achievements during the workshop. The guest of honor, Director of Extension Education G.S. Buttar, lauded the role of Krishi Vigyan Kendras in nurturing agri startups. Expressing delight at witnessing the rapid progress of startups in diversification, he encouraged them to continue their journey towards scaling greater heights in the future. The Indian government revealed that milk procurement experienced a substantial year-on-year -year rise of 5.6% in June. The Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy, Pashotam Rupala, addressed the Lok Sabha, stating that there were no indications of milk or milk product shortages in the country. To ensure a comprehensive overview of the milk situation, the department periodically reviews the current status. Minister Rupala also disclosed that based on the information from major dairy cooperatives, the stock of skimmed milk powder had surged from 1,16,002 tons in May 2023 to 1,30,000 tons in June 2023. During his visit to Rajasthan on July 27, 2023, Prime Minister Narendra Modi disbursed the 14th installment of the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi scheme, amounting to over Rs 17,000 crore, benefiting more than 8.5 crore farmers. Each eligible farmer will receive Rs 2,000 as part of this 14th installment. These schemes are designed to be one-stop solutions for farmers' needs, offering vital information on agri inputs, soil and seed testing facilities, and guidance on various government schemes. The initiative is expected to significantly bolster the agricultural sector and benefit farmers at the grassroots level. In a remarkable stride towards transforming the dairy industry, pioneering scientists at the renowned ICAR, Indian Veterinary Research Institute, has unveiled a groundbreaking advancement to redefine milk production. The game-changing innovation is a revolutionary cattle feed meticulously enriched with various phytonutrient ingredients derived from time-tested medicinal plants. The dinner promises to amplify milk yield, enhance procreation, and bolster immunity in milch animals such as cows and buffaloes. The IBRI developed cattle feed represents a significant leap forward in addressing these invaluable creatures' critical need for a highly nutritious diet. Communist Party of China launched the Silk Roadster platform in Bhaktapur, Nepal, amid the presence of several political parties and social organizations. The platform is a significant milestone in Nepal's participation in the Belt and Road Initiative and aims to foster practical cooperation between China and Southeast and South Asian countries in many sectors. The concept paper for Silk Roadster reveals a comprehensive plan that includes technical skills training, people-centric services, overseas study projects, short-term exchanges, cooperation between enterprises and cultural exhibitions with Southeast and South Asian countries. The platform seeks to coordinate resources from local governments, universities, enterprises and institutions in China to facilitate these projects. That's all for today. We will be back with some more news updates tomorrow. For more updates on Agri News, stay tuned with Kushi Jagran Business. This is Khushi Mutkar. Thank <laughs> you.